Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. It is Sunday and I am sitting in front of Walmart. I need to run in to pick up a few things and on the way here it just dawned on me that today is the last day for the three-day sale at Shaw's and I so wanted some things out of that sale but I know I'm not going to be in the mood to go there after here so I'm just gonna have to miss it. Boy, they would make a lot more money at Shaw's if they would let that sale at least be four days for people who just don't make it out on the weekends. And I consider Friday part of the weekend, so I just don't like to shop there on a Friday. Too many people there. I have something to tell you guys. I've been keeping it a secret because we're trying to keep it a surprise, but I will be going to Nashville for Christmas. Now, Derek has relocated to Nashville, so instead of commuting to work all the time, now he commutes to be with Skylar. He will be having Skylar and her brother the whole week of Christmas in Nashville, so I am flying to Nashville to be with them. However, I'll be staying in a hotel because Derek is renting a room from friends, so it's not equipped for me to stay there too. So that'll be kind of cool, and I'll also have the kids staying with me at the hotel at night. Kids like that, and it'll allow Derek to continue working for Uber while he has the kids, so he can go out driving at night, and I will be babysitting. So... We have not told their mother, the kid's mother, Janet, because we're afraid that she'll let it slip. I have almost let it slip. I just talked to Skyly yesterday, and I kept wanting to say, Oh, when I come next week, we'll do this. And I was like, No, I can't say that. So we are not mentioning this on Facebook because Janet sees my Facebook pages. I don't think she watches my videos. So I'm hoping, Janet, if you're watching this, we're trying to surprise the kids. So what it's going to be is I will be flying out next Sunday. Yes, I will be missing a Shaw's flyer on Monday, but I thought I'd be able to post deals for you using another flyer online. But what we're doing on Monday now is that's the day Derek is traveling to get the kids. So I'm glad about that because I get to go on the road trip from Nashville to Memphis. I've only done that road trip with him once when he lived in Nashville before. Skyla was only like... About a year and a half old and there was an ice storm and it took us like nine hours round trip which is not supposed to take anywhere near that long and it was awful but we we went to pick up Skylar and we made it back and oh my god it was just it was just a, a scary scary round trip so this time I'm anxious to just be able to sit back and relax and not go only 25 miles per hour if you know me I'd probably still like to go 25 miles an hour because I'm so petrified to be on the roads. However, on highways where everybody's traveling in the same direction, I'm not so scared because I don't have any textures coming head on at me. So I'm going to try to just enjoy the ride and relax. So we'll be on the road all of Monday and I don't think I'll be posting any Shaw's deals on Monday. But we'll see. You never know. Derek's iPad actually has um, is hooked through his phone. So if I could do some in the car while riding... If I could figure out how to do that, then I might be able to get a few things posted. But we'll see. I will be gone for an entire week. I won't be back until the next Sunday. I actually come in very, very late Saturday night. So I will be back to work on the following Sunday. I just hope that you guys don't mind that I won't be posting much deals that week. I think everybody's going to be so busy because it's the week of Christmas. So I don't think I'll be missed too much. I certainly will be posting some things, and I obviously will want to be posting some videos. So we'll see how it goes, but I just wanted to let you guys know, and, and we're just not going to chat about this on my Facebook page. If somebody accidentally mentions it or whatever, I'll probably just hide it from the page so that Janet can't see it. It's enough to keep me from letting the cat out of the bag, so... All right, I'm going into Walmart. I am going to take the camera with me. I don't know how much recording I'll be able to do, but let's just go. I'm picking up some of my raw peanuts in the shell that I love so much. And I'm grabbing some plum tomatoes. And they have consistently been $1.18 a pound, but now they just went up to $1.44 a pound. <laughs> I'm talking out loud with people right next to me. I'm such a brave girl now. I didn't even know something like this existed. Gingerbread house kit and there's a gingerbread train kit. How totally cool is that? They're $7.98, and here's a sample of one that they have here. 
Is that edible? Is that a stupid question? Let me see what it says. I gotta put my glasses on. It says it includes gingerbread cookies. Do I dare taste that? I think it's edible. <laughs> yes, it's seasoned. So I don't think they would season it if it was meant to be cardboard. Okay, I think that's a cool gift to give somebody before Christmas. My mother loves this bologna, and even though I don't have a coupon, I'm gonna get her one. And I also had to get her a bunch of canned fruit because she's all out, and I don't have coupons, and so I'm just getting the Great Value brand, and she also will be staying with my sister for the week that I'm gone, so she wants to bring some canned fruit with her. I'm so sad that I spend so much money. I didn't print the Toll House morsels in time, so I'm getting more morsels to make some more candy to give to my sister's family for Christmas. I got two bags of that, and I also got a bag of... Oh, and they're $1.98. They were $1.89 last week. Another $1.98, and I got a bag of... Con upside down. Confectionate sugar. Oh. I believe that's $1.68. Why is the camera such a weird color? I like this color better. I am looking everywhere for an electric can opener and I can't find one anywhere. Do they not make such a thing anymore? I swear I've been up and down every small appliance aisle. Give me a break. See, I'm so tired from looking now. My back is hurting. I just want to get out of this store, but I need a can opener. It would be so nice if I could find some help. Help! Help! This is ridiculous that I can't find any and I can't find help. And if one more person walks in front of me without looking, I'm going to throw this camera at them. Okay, I've decided to go up front and look for help. <gasps> more appliances? Get out! Why have such a big space between appliance aisles? They know how to stock a store. Well, I was hopeful, but I'm not seeing anything. Let's go look for help. I'm gonna leave the camera on. Hi. Where on earth would I find an electric can opener? Okie dokie. I swear, I've looked at every aisle and then I saw another little section I thought it might be at, but I didn't find it there either. You're probably going to bring me right to some place that I've been 10 times and couldn't find it. See, I thought I was up all and down all of these aisles, but no way. Ah. Thank you so much, I swear, I have been. Well, you saw, I had to think about yep. it myself and I set this morning. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. She found some. You have no idea how tired I am. My glasses are even fogging up. Oh, that, that sucked. I'm so tired. Okay, now to pick one. Of course I want cheap. I think I have decided on this Black & Decker Extra Tall. I do have hand openers, but when I want to open something quick, I want this. I'm ready to fly this coop. Oh my god, I'm so hot. I better not have a lot of people at the register. I want to get out of here. I've already changed my mind. I don't need a tall can opener because I seldom open tall cans. And if I do need to, I'll use my hand can opener. So I'm going to grab this little guy. Gotta switch hands. It's a rival, just a black rival electric can opener, nothing fancy, and it's only $6.88. I can afford that. I'll do a review on it for you. Yay. Oh! Okay, that was tiresome and quite stressful. And I am under the impression that my knee is forever damaged, so it, uh, never feels good. It always pops in and out of place. So when I'm walking around a store for any length of time, it just starts to uh, give out on me and, ugh, and starts to hurt. 
and all that fun stuff. <sighs> oh, I'm ready for a nap after all that walking around. I seriously walked and worked hard to get that can opener. And then I even went up front to find somebody. She was super, super nice. I don't know if you could hear that part. I, I did leave the camera on, so we'll see. She showed me where they were after she looked for them for a little bit. And then after I decided on one, I decided on another one after I was all the way back up to the front of the store. I was like, I don't need no stinking tall can opener because I can use my manual can opener for the tall cans. So I just picked up the 688 one and I'm super excited to do a review for you guys. I don't know if I'll be doing it today. Probably not. I'll be able to do the unboxing and show it to you. Exciting! I lead such a boring life! pretty bad when showing you guys a can opener is the highlight of my week. <laughs> I totally should have shopped for that online and have it ready and waiting for me up front instead of doing all that walking around. So please do remember that with Walmart you can do site to store and you know there was an option. I'll have to see if that option still exists that you can pay cash when you come and pick up the item. For those of you who either don't want to use a credit card online or don't have a credit card that you could order online and pick cash option and then you pick it up at customer service or where you pick up orders at the site to store counter or whatever if I remember right and then do you go to a cash register to pay for it I can't remember but I know that option used to exist so I'm gonna have to look into that and see if that still exists and how it works all right that's it and um I did mention in the store that my mother will be with my sister for the week that I'm gone, so I picked up some things for her. I'm really, really sad that I'm not couponing like I used to. I'm not sad that I'm not couponing like I used to, because I don't think I'd ever want to go back to that level of couponing. <laughs> it was crazy. But it would be nice to be able to save. So what I need to do is start really utilizing the insert coupons through a clipper when I find things for canned fruits, because, but again canned fruits like Libby's canned fruits even with a coupon sometimes the store brand is cheaper so I'd have to look but I want to start saving again all right I'm rambling and I'm very very tired I'm glad I have a chance to chat with you for a little bit because I need to rest before I drive tomorrow is Monday Shaw's flyer day I'm so sad that I'll be missing next week <laughs> Please don't desert me. Please, please, please don't desert me. And I will try to get some deals posted. I will have some things scheduled on my blog, I hope. I'm going to try to schedule some things that will pop up and then also will be scheduled to appear on Facebook too while I'm gone so that the blog doesn't just go dry while I'm away because my helpers are also busy. And like I said, I'm going to be busy and I'm going to be at a hotel room. Oh, I'm not going to want to just stay in a hotel room all day, so we're going to be out a lot. I hope I um, can make something good to eat when I get home. What do I have? I'm hungry. All my meat is frozen. This is about the most boring conversation ever. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up, please. And I'll be back with more soon. Bye.